Oh, so, it was a massive power station, huh? That was so cool. Yeah. Cool about the pollution, though. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much for taking us to that power station, Jeff. It was so interesting. Well, actually, it's my friend Joe we need to thank. Joe? Mm. The man who eats at the cafe almost every night? Yeah, he's an old friend of mine and he works at the power station, so he organised for all of us to get in. Whoa! Mm. He works at the power station? How does he stand all that noise every day? It was noisy, wasn't it, huh? Mm. I think he wears headphones to protect his ears. That was sort of a problem, the noise. I couldn't understand what you were saying a lot of the time. That's true. I couldn't hear much either. Would you explain it again, please? <laughs> About how a power station works. Yes, please. <laughs> what, what? Chef Jeff's going to tell them about a power station, but I don't even know what that is. What, what? Is it like a petrol station? Do you stand in line to get power? I hope he's going to explain it carefully. What, what? Well, you remember, we all use energy to make things work in our everyday lives. There are different sources of energy that we use. And some are renewable, like the sun, the wind, and moving water. Good. And the power station we visited today makes electricity the old-fashioned way, using coal. Do you remember what I said about energy systems? Hmm. Well, this power station is an energy system. It consists of different parts that work together. Energy is transferred from one part to the next. If there were a problem with any one of these parts of the process, it just wouldn't work. Like if one of the turbines are broken, they'll have to stop and wait for it to get fixed. Good, and well done, Sabeta, for remembering the word turbine. You know it is an engine driven by some sort of energy. But we'll come to that later. I'll tell you where I wouldn't like to work. In a coal pot. Did you see that man who was making the machine load the coal? It looked like such hard work. And it must be very hard to get all that coal dust off your face and hands at the end of the day. <laughs> yes, but you'll remember he was wearing overalls to protect his clothes. They were loading coal into those enormous furnaces. <laughs> What's a furnace again? It's like a huge and very hot fireplace. Oh, yes, that's right. And do you remember what happens when coal is heated? It releases the chemical energy of the coal, so the coal makes a fire. Good. And remember, we also need to add air to the coal to make the flames hot. Do any of you remember what that huge furnace was heating? It was heating the boiler. Just like in a steam train. Yes, and just like the steam train, the boiler gets so hot that some of the water becomes steam. And steam is? It's a gas that water makes when it boils. Yes, and when it gets very hot, it expands, so it needs a lot of space. You remember we saw the pipe outside, where the steam is forced out of the boiler and into the steam turbine room. That turbine was huge. <laughs> it's difficult to believe that this huge machine is turned around by just the steam from hot water. Yes, it just shows you how much energy there is in that process. The process of heating water to make steam. And what happened to the turbine? It turned really fast. Cool, so what kind of energy do you think that is? Movement energy. Yes, very good. And uh, do you remember what happens then? Yes, the power from the turbine goes into the gener... gener... Generator! Yes, that's right. The power from the turbine goes into the generator which converts it into electric energy. Did you notice those tall chimney stacks outside? Yes! Hmm, well, those are cooling towers. The steam that's moved the turbine is sent into the cooling towers. And what do you think happens to it then? It cools down. Mm. And what do you think would happen to steam if it cools down? It turns back into water. <laughs> yes. And of course, they can use that water again in the boiler. It's a huge operation, isn't it? I can see how it would all break down if one part wasn't working. <laughs> yes. It's a finely tuned energy system. <laughs> and maybe... Yeah, but yeah, maybe... Is it true you can get electricity from the sun? Ah, yes, it's true. It's called solar energy. Mm. You can also use wind to make electricity. Wind? Mm -hmm. And how's that? Well, if you can find an area mm. where the wind is always strong, yeah? Mm -hmm. Say, near the sea. And why near the sea? 
because the wind coming in off the sea mm. is often strong. Mm, 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 mm. And, and how do you know these things? Well, because I listened in class, Mother. Okay, okay, smarty pants, then what? <laughs> well, you can make a big windmill. Mm. Well, before you ask, that's a machine with lots and lots of blades that go round and round. And because the wind mm -hmm. makes these blades go round and round, mm. you can use that energy to turn the machine and make electricity. Wow! Wow! Mm. <laughs> and, and, and tell me, solar energy? Well, that's a bit more complicated. Mm. And I'm not sure exactly how it happens, but the sun's heat and light mm -hmm. are captured by panels that can save the energy mm. and be turned into electricity. Okay, mm -hmm. so that explains it. Mm. Mm. Explains what? Well, I was trying to get electricity from the sun. And mm. how did you do it? Well, I lay in the sun for a couple of hours, then I came running in and tried to plug the radio into my ear, but it didn't work. Oh, I really hope people don't realize we're related. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There's one thing I'm not sure about, though, Chef Jeff. How does the power get from the generators at the power station into, let's say, for example, that plug there? Hmm. Well, the electricity is sent along tall power lines to the substations. You mean those tall power lines you can see if you stand on the corner? <laughs> yeah, it's those. And the electricity is sent along the power lines and separated into substations where it's made into electricity that can be used in houses. From the substation, the electricity is taken on smaller power lines to the houses or into businesses like these. This whole thing must be really expensive. Well, it would be quite expensive to set up, but once it's there, it should run quite cheaply. So, Chef Jeff, can I use your PowerPoint there to plug the kettle in? <laughs> yes, you can. Why? Because I want to make hot chocolate for everyone. Hmm, <laughs> that's a good idea. The recipe for electricity is easy. First you take some coal and you make it very hot. Then the heat boils the water, which I'm afraid will not make electricity. But it does make steam. The steam drives the turbine, the turbine, the generator. The generator makes electricity. Which Very lucky. The safari kids actually went to a power station to see how they make electricity. The coal hits the fire, the fire hits the water, the steam drives the turbine which feeds the generator. What, what? I wish I'd thought of all that. Electricity is a wonderful thing, but it can also be very dangerous. Do you know why? Well, see what you can find out. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. The recipe for electricity is easy. First you take some coal and you make it very hot. Then the heat boils the water, which I'm afraid will not make electricity. But it does make steam. The steam 